Hey everyone and welcome to TK Sports and this week's episode we're looking at the energy system we use after the ATP PC system. This system also works under anaerobic conditions but for a longer duration of time. This system is known as the lactic acid energy system. So what's different about this energy system is that instead of using ATP naturally stored in the muscles, this system uses carbohydrates as its main source of energy. But the carbohydrates have to be stored in the muscles as a glycogen in order for it to be broken down and used. So what is glycolysis? Well, glycolysis is the process in which glycogen is broken down to form the energy. This process is also done anaerobically like the previous system so that the energy can be produced at a quicker rate without the need of oxygen. There are three resultants of glycolysis, pyruvic acid, hydrogen ions and energy. So the longer this system is dominant for, the more hydrogen ions are produced. This makes the muscles become increasingly acidic, which over time will eventually cause muscle pain and fatigue. The absence of oxygen also means that the pyruvic acid cannot be broken down, leading to the production of lactic acid. It takes 2 ATP to fuel glycolysis, but the end result generates 4 ATP. This gives a total yield of 2 ATP of energy, which is double what you get from the ATP PC system. However, the rate at which the energy is produced is slightly slower than the first system, meaning that the movement involved isn't as explosive or powerful compared to when using the ATP PC system. This then makes it more about muscular endurance and less about power production. But isn't it the lactic acid that's responsible for the burning sensation? Well, the reason why it's the hydrogen ions is because without oxygen, these hydrogen ions build up and increase acidity within the muscles. And the more acid there is within the muscles, then the more difficult it is for the enzymes to break down the glycogen into glucose to produce the energy. Greater muscular acidity also disrupts nerve endings causing temporary pain as well as an increased irritation of the central nervous system. This accumulation of hydrogen ions is where the burning sensation comes from and it only goes away once the pH levels within the muscles return to normal. So what does the lactic acid do? Well the lactic acid isn't necessarily a bad waste product and can actually be a benefit to the body as it's used in another process called the Cori cycle. So the Cori cycle is where the lactic acid generated from anaerobic glycolysis moves towards the liver where it is converted back into glucose in another process called gluconeogenesis. After this, the glucose then returns to the muscles through the bloodstream for it to be metabolized again, giving you additional energy to make the system last longer. So how do you train this system? Well, it isn't just about increasing the efficiency of the system, but also to develop a greater muscular resistance when the body starts to build up in acidity. You need to train the muscles to break down the acid more easily to postpone the feeling of fatigue. This means you need to do anaerobic interval training. Anaerobic interval training is doing sets of high intensity training where the body is working between 85-95% to of your maximum heart rate. Each routine should last between 20-60 to 60 seconds depending on ability and intensity. 
with roughly the same amount of time given for recovery. This gives a work rest ratio of 1 to 1 or 1 to 2. This type of training increases the muscle's resistance to acid buildup by developing your anaerobic threshold, which is when the body can no longer clear out acid from the muscles, usually between 80 to 90% of your maximum heart rate. This training is beneficial because you develop your type 2A fast twitch muscle fibers, which, unlike type 2B muscle fibers used in the ATP PC energy system, have a resistance against fatigue and possess large amounts of myoglobin and mitochondria, allowing them to generate more energy for a longer duration of time. That's why type 2A muscle fibers are red, whereas type 2B muscle fibers are white, because they contain more capillaries allowing the acid to be distributed away from the muscles through the bloodstream to reduce fatigue, which, in the process, increases muscular endurance and improves this energy system. So thank you for watching this episode of TK Sports. If you like what you see and you want to see more, then subscribe and like. I'll put a link in the description below for more information about this energy system. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.